Othello. A long time ago in Venice, a rich man named Roderigo had spent several months wooing a noble lady named Desdemona. But one night, his friend Iago came to visit him with some troubling news. Iago was a soldier in the Venetian army. I am sorry to say it, Roderigo, said Iago, but Desdemona loves another. In fact, she's married him already in secret. I know, because he's my boss, General Othello. General Othello was famous in Venice. He was from a mysterious foreign land, and that meant that many Venetians didn't trust him, despite the fact that he was an excellent general and a loyal citizen. Othello felt that the mistrust in him was unfair. He had to work twice as hard as the other soldiers to gain respect. Roderigo was one of the people who didn't like Othello, and he was furious to hear that Othello had married Desdemona. Believe me, I have no great love for Othello either, Iago said. I wanted to be promoted to lieutenant, and he chose Michael Cassio instead. But don't give up. We should go and tell Desdemona's father, Senator Brabantio, about this. He hates Othello. The two men went to Senator Brabantio's house and told him what his daughter had done. How dare that man marry my daughter without my consent, Brabantio shouted. Send soldiers to arrest him immediately. But at that moment, a messenger arrived to say that there was an emergency Senate meeting. The Turkish fleet had been spotted on their way to invade Cyprus. When Brabantio got to the Senate, General Othello was in the middle of making a speech. Ah, Brabantio, said one of the senators, we've just put General Othello in charge of an army to fight back against the Turks. That man isn't fit to be in charge of anything at all, Brabantio snarled. He married my daughter without my consent, and I want him punished. There was uproar in the Senate. Many of the members of the Senate didn't like Othello just because he wasn't Venetian. But many others weren't so prejudiced and thought Brabantio was being unfair. Othello held up his hands. If I may explain, good Brabantio, I have married your very beautiful daughter Desdemona simply because we are madly in love. Love, Brabantio snapped, as if my daughter could love someone like you. Why don't we call her here and ask her? Othello suggested calmly. So Desdemona was brought to the Senate. There she told her father that Othello was telling the truth. I married him because he is the best man I've ever known, and I love him, she cried, and we married in secret because we knew you would try to forbid me, father. You foolish child, Brabantio thundered. Well, don't worry about me forbidding you from doing anything else. I disown you. From this moment all on, I have no daughter. Fine, snapped Desdemona. I will go with Othello on his mission to Cyprus. We'll enjoy being away from you. When the newlyweds arrived in Cyprus, along with Lieutenant Cassio, Iago and Iago's wife, Emilia, the Turkish fleet had already retreated, so Othello announced that they would have a night of celebration. Roderigo arrived on Cyprus, still determined to try to win Desdemona for himself. Iago didn't really care too much whether Roderigo was successful in stealing Desdemona, but he did want revenge on Cassio for being promoted above him, and he thought he could use Roderigo to do that. Hey, Roderigo, he whispered, Othello is the least of your problems. Desdemona is falling in love with Cassio now. I think you ought to challenge him to a duel tonight. Let her see how manly you are. Good idea. Thanks, friend, said Roderigo. That night, Iago made sure Cassio had lots of wine and too much to eat and was feeling quite grumpy. When Roderigo challenged him to a duel, Cassio was quick to take him up on it. The two men started to fight, and it quickly turned into a brawl. Other soldiers rushed to break it up. Othello was furious. 
Roderigo, you shouldn't even be here. Leave immediately. Cassio, I trusted you as my lieutenant. You can't be brawling like this. I'm going to be a shit to have to take your promotion away. Cassio was crushed. The next morning, bruised and ashamed, he didn't know what to do. Iago sidled up to him. Othello is stubborn, he said. He only listens to Desdemona. Ask her if you can have your job back. Cassio perked up. I will. Thanks, Iago. He hurried away to find Desdemona. Meanwhile, Iago went to find Othello. Sir, I have something troubling to tell you, he said. What is it? Othello asked. Iago made a show of looking uncomfortable. I'm afraid, sir, that your wife appears to be getting rather close to Cassio. I've seen them talking together a lot. Othello frowned. Surely not. Iago shrugged. I have no reason to lie, sir. Cassio went to Desdemona and begged her to help him get his job back. She kindly agreed. She went to find Othello and asked him if it could be possible to have him help Cassio. Othello frowned at her, remembering what Iago had just told him. But why do you care? Why wouldn't I, Desdemona said. Cassio is a good and loyal man. One mistake isn't enough to set him aside, surely. Has he only made one mistake? Othello growled suspiciously. Thank you for your advice, but I'll be listening to people I can trust. Thank you. You can trust me, Desdemona protested. I'm not so sure, Othello snapped. He marched away, wondering if Iago was right and his wife was in love with Cassio. Next, Iago went to his wife, Emilia. Dearest, do not ask why, but I need you to steal Desdemona's embroidered handkerchief that Othello gave her. The one with the strawberries? Emilia asked. Yes, Iago said. Bring it to me, please. Emilia did as he asked, and Iago took the handkerchief and hid it in a place where he knew Cassio would find it. Cassio spotted the pretty handkerchief and picked it up. This is nice. I wonder who it belongs to, he murmured to himself. Othello spotted him with the handkerchief. That's the first gift I ever gave Desdemona, he gasped, and she's given it to him? Iago must be right. Desdemona loves Cassio. He stomped to the sitting room where Desdemona was sewing with Emilia. If you don't love me any more, just tell me to my face, he shouted. What are you talking about? Desdemona asked him, confused. I didn't make you marry me. So why are you acting like this? Othello yelled. He turned and left, feeling deeply upset. Desdemona started to cry. I don't know what he thinks I've done. I'm doing my best to be a good wife, she said. Emilia gave her a hug. Maybe it's the stress of the job. I'm sure he'll come to his senses. Meanwhile, Roderigo had seen Cassio with the handkerchief as well. Iago was right, he said to himself. Cassio is trying to steal Desdemona from Othello. I wanted her first. Late that night, when the ladies had already gone to bed, Roderigo challenged Cassio to another duel. Iago watched them closely. He knew that if Cassio was dead, he would be the next in line to be lieutenant. Roderigo wounded Cassio before he was arrested and taken away. Cassio was in pain, but the wound wasn't too bad. That's a shame, Iago muttered to himself. Meanwhile, Othello hadn't been able to concentrate on his duties and had gone to confront Desdemona. If you love Cassio, just tell me, he demanded, kicking the bedroom door open. Desdemona had been fast asleep. She sat up with a start. What are you talking about, she moaned. Don't play dumb with me, Othello roared. I'm not. I don't understand why you don't trust me. What on earth have I done to deserve being spoken to like this? What has become of the kind, decent man I married? You're not who I thought you were, Desdemona shouted back. Othello was so angry that he lost himself to rage. He grabbed her pillow and held it over her face to stop her shouting. He held it there too long, and she soon stopped breathing. Their shouting had woken up the rest of the household, and Amelia came running. Desdemona, what's... Amelia asked then stopped horror-struck when she saw the body of her beloved friend. She was unfaithful. She loved Cassio, and I have proof, Othello said. 
she gave him her strawberry handkerchief. She did not, Amelia sobbed. I am afraid that I took her handkerchief, Othello, but I only did it because Iago asked me to, for some kind of trick. For some reason he is behind this mess. Othello looked to poor Desdemona's body, and felt a wave of such regret and shame. Oh, what have I done, my Desdemona, my love? He cried. Othello called for Iago to be brought there right away. Iago arrived, hanging his head in shame. He admitted that he had plotted to make it look like Desdemona loved Cassio, so that Othello would send Cassio away, and make Iago lieutenant instead. You beastly man, Amelia cried. You would have broken up my best friend's marriage to advance your career? See what you have done. Your wretched plots have killed my friend. All for a promotion? I no longer want to be your wife. I'm leaving. Othello was overcome with grief and despair as he held Desdemona's body. Oh, my love, I cannot live without you, he cried. I am so very sorry. He could not bear the guilt and the shame he was feeling, so he drew his dagger from its sheath and stabbed himself in the heart. Iago was ashamed of himself for having set such tragic events in motion. He resigned from the army, and he never made the mistake of not respecting a woman again. He always regretted that his pride and temper had cost him his wife. Thank you.